Nick. I'm from California, um, Auburn, California, a little town north of Sacramento. I've been eventing for 28 years. Um, I'm super excited because it's my first four star, finally. <laughs> and I'm on my uh, nine-year-old Holsteiner mare, our star. I was so happy with her today because she can be a little spooky and hot and she was very steady and um, just really good. I still have some things I need to do better, but as soon as I get them ironed out, she will be right there because she was totally connected and ready to do whatever I asked her to. It looks really inviting. You know, I hope it doesn't rain too much. <laughs> um, no, I'm super excited about it. It looks really jumpable. You know, I'm I'm not exactly a speed demon, um, and she's young, so I don't think we'll go blazing around like a fireball, but I think that she'll jump everything super well. You know, when I started eventing in 1983, and I think 84, I went down and started working for Derek DeGrazia and with him and B. And um, he was going to Rolex in 85. And it was always, that was my goal when I really started getting serious about eventing was to get to Rolex. And then I don't, in my late middle 40s, I was like, oh, I'm just not ever going to, my advanced horse died. And I didn't think I was ever going to make it. And then I got rosy and all of a sudden everything's just clicked into place and I'm here. There's actually a lot of advantages. I think that as an upper level rider, you know, you're one of 15, one of 20 instead of one of 80. So you get a little more attention. Um, the course, the, the organizers there just bend over backwards to help us. You know, they, they do a lot for us. Um, it's super, you know, you're on first name basis with everybody. Um, but I think it's really hard. Like I was super nervous about a huge crowd like that because if you get 40 people to watch your advanced test on the west coast you're doing really really well so you know i think the lack of competitors can also it's just a little overwhelming when all of a sudden you're around you know 50 horses that are doing rolex but it, it so it's good and bad i love the weather though <laughs> I think it's really easy sometimes to get a little overwhelmed by everything and I think if you just keep working and it's so hard with horses because so many things can go wrong and it's so important to just enjoy the process, you know, every day you ride them.